Let's talk about the butter and egg yolk myth. Now, I know you were taught that you need to stay away from butter and egg yolk because it's going to clog your arteries and cause heart attacks. But in fact, that's what I was taught too, but it's not actually true. It's a, it's, it's, it's a myth, especially if you consume grass-fed butter. Now, there is a vitamin, vitamin K, that has two different versions. You have vitamin K1 and vitamin K2. Vitamin K1 is from plant sources, and that actually helps you clot. Okay, and that's a good thing because if you didn't have this, you would bleed internally. Um, vitamin K2 actually has a different function by making bones, making strong bones, making teeth. Um, so it helps transport the calcium deeper into the body. So vitamin D helps drive the calcium into the blood. Vitamin K2, with the help of other vitamins, pushes it into the bone itself. So if you're deficient in vitamin 2, you get a higher level of calcium that doesn't make it all the way, and you start getting calcification of your arteries. Yeah, that's a deficiency of vitamin K2. So basically, the source of vitamin K1 is from plant source like spinach and vegetables, but you also have vitamin K2, which doesn't come from vegetables. It comes from the animals that eat the vegetables, especially the animals that eat the grass. So the main two sources of K2 are egg yolk and grass-fed butter. Not corn-fed cows that then make the butter, but cows that actually eat the grass. You can also find vitamin K2 in goose liver, if you can find it. Um, okay, so that's the, uh, that's the benefit of egg yolk and butter. I consume a lot of egg yolk, and I've been doing it for 25 years. I eat four eggs every single day. Uh, my cholesterol is really good, and I'm very, very healthy. So. Um, I used to crave butter as a kid. I used to eat just a whole pound of butter. And I, I, apparently I needed this nutrient to help mobilize my calcium. Um, and younger kids need it too because they, they require more calcium. Okay, so then the other thing I was going to mention about this is that the vitamin A in grass-fed butter is three times more effective than fish oils. Yeah. And the vitamin D in grass-fed butter is a hundred times more affected, effective than commercial vitamin D. So that's, that's interesting. So again, you don't have to be scared about consuming butter and egg yolks anymore because they're totally safe. Okay, so I hope it helped and start applying this information.